Hi everyone! In this video, we'll learn about Python variables and how you can use them in your program. We'll learn how to operate on data stored in variables and how you can get the most out of your variables by using a few simple naming rules. Let's get started! In programming, you can think of variables as reusable storage containers that can hold data. We identify these containers by attaching a label or name to them. For example, if I want to store my name in a variable, I can create a variable called my name and then use the assignment operator, which in Python is the equal sign, to assign it the value summer. Moving forward, this my name variable will behave as if it were the string summer. This is a key point when working with variables. Python automatically substitutes a variable's value in for its name anywhere the variable's name is used. For example, in a notebook, we can output the content of the my name variable by writing it as the last line of a cell. As you can see, we specified the variable, my name, but the output is a variable's value, summer. Great, since the my name variable is just a placeholder for the string value summer, we can also call any string type methods on the variable. For example, we can convert the value of the my name variable to uppercase with the uppercase method. Awesome, note that variables are not limited to storing strings. They can also be used to store any type of data in Python. For example, I can store my age in a variable as well. That's great for now, but when I turn 23, this information will be out of date. Luckily, variables are reusable containers, so we can update their value. This operation is called a variable reassignment. Great. On my birthday, I usually make one of my three favorite desserts. Let's put this information in a variable. Since this variable will contain my three favorite desserts, a logical name might be three fave desserts. But Python doesn't allow this. That's because there's a few rules that we need to follow when naming our variables. First, variable names can't start with numbers. Clearly, the variable name three fave desserts violates this rule. While we can't use a number as the first character of a variable name, numbers can be included in any other part of the variable name, including as the last character. For example, variable names like my three fave desserts and desserts top three are valid. So to fix the error, we could use names like my three fave desserts instead. But there are more rules. Let's discuss them. The second rule says that letters, numbers, and underscores are the only characters that we can use in a variable name. My three fave desserts follows this rule. But names like my three fave desserts, exclamation point, or my three fave desserts with stars in between do not. The third rule says that variable names can't contain spaces. For example, the name my three fave desserts with spaces in between is not allowed. While variable names cannot contain spaces, programmers commonly separate words with the underscore character for readability. Finally, variable names are case sensitive. This means that Python will recognize my three fave desserts as a different variable than my three fave desserts with a capital M. Great! Variables are essential programming tools that are key to writing good quality, efficient code. If you'd like to check out the code we used in this video, we left a link to the CoLab workbook in the description. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe for more tips on improving your coding skills. If you have any questions or topics you'd like to learn about, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.